Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. Today we're just going to do a short test of the drill bits against kryptonite and see what we can do to improve the performance a little bit. So we're going to start out with one of the previous bits, which is one of the standard uh, Sierra Blaster bits. And drill it where we're cooling it about every I'll drill about four seconds cool four seconds cool like that and we'll see what we can do the uh, the bits were running about three inches to doling without cooling or resting or anything like that in this kryptonite didn't take long but it may have been overheating them so we'll try that first so let's see what happens here get my magnifier here. Yeah, it has definitely rounded the edge substantially. Let me get another one and cool it even faster than that and see what happens. the carbide maybe? Looks like one of the carbides is missing. Yeah, the carbide's missing. <laughs> Both of them. Wow. Well, that sucks. Well, the cooling seemed to help. So let's start with a brand new bit. And we got three different kinds of bits here. One is the standard bit. It just says Sierra Blaster. This says Cheetah Series 10201S and this is a 10201. So we got the 10201S bit. a brand new bit. Let's see what happens with the uh, rapid cooling. That's yeah, pretty rounded, especially at the edges. Okay, so let's replace this with the one with the yellow label. This 
is the 210. Let's see how that works. Again, this is a brand new bit to minimize variables. Every three seconds, I get about a quarter of an inch or so. Now you can see it's slowing down. See what it looks like. And that's pretty rounded. And it looks like this one may be chipped too, which is what the concern was. This is supposedly a harder carbide, but uh, tends to chip a little bit more. Now the last one will be this Heller bit. There we go. I'm just going to put it in the same hole because it's long. It'll be tough to collar. Now you'll notice we're still not getting real good penetration there. I think it may have to do a lot with particular material you're going through. Pull out of that hole. Ouch. Jeez. Come on. What do I do now? Wow, all three carbides are chipped to obliteration. I don't know if that was that last hole I tried to go into, or whether it was from this one. That one did not work too well. I wish I looked at it a little more carefully before I tried to go in that last hole. Oh well. The Heller bit didn't seem to do that much better. So, I'd say all in all we get a little bit better out of the cooling. Not a whole lot. I just think we're uh, approaching the limits of tungsten carbide. <laughs> Yep, 
Okay, not a whole lot of improvement no matter what the heck we did. This is just some really tough stuff. And I'll have to regrind these bits. Pretty much answers that. One other thing, let's try this Hilti bit just for jollies. See what it does. Now this is again is reground. That's just a really Really tough rock. <laughs> yeah, this just went right through the old rock. So, yeah, it just appears that this rock is at the limits of uh, tungsten carbide. So, uh, happy prospecting and not happy drilling, and keep it safe out there. <laughs>